Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to the channel. As you can see by the thumbnail, Queen of Kings is back. We are back a happy couple, or are we? What is really going on over there? What did Rose really do this for? Quiet as it's kept, it's very much given set up. Did we set Brit up so we could play the victim, <laughs> play the battered wife? She's sitting over there eating pizza, acting as if nothing happened. And the whole gag is, we wouldn't know any of this had she not recorded it. Now, you claim that uh, Brett needed a timeout. He put them piles on you, but you weren't going to press any charges. She didn't give any statements to the, to the detectives. We don't know if that's true or not. It could be our lies. But the point is, the ball is in her court. She has the upper hand over him. Y'all think about it. He really can't bust the move. He really can't bust the eye or anything else over there. She will use this and hang this over his head when he get out of line. So I don't know if this was a control thing. I don't know what Rose's end game is with all of this. But I tell you what, I got tickled in the comments. One of the comments talked about she tried to see how this channel would do without him. And she realized she would be done if he wasn't on here. So do you all think that's what it could be? Was this a ploy to see exactly how she would do on her channel that they built together without him. Do you all think it's giving set up vibes? Do you all think Brett needs to run? Do you all think that Rose needs to be in a padded room? Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what you all think about it. But yeah, I thought it was very odd on yesterday. She went live and she was talking to his mom. Y'all know she talks to his mom and dad more than she talks to her own parents. And she was trying to force that lady to come to Hawaii sooner than she had planned. <laughs> Breast mama tickled me. She had to pause for a second. She sounded like she really didn't want to be bothered. She sounded tired, and she actually voiced that they had been running around town all day. But, yeah, she told her, girl, I got to put in PTO time. I can't come down there. I think she was wanting her to come this month. But the point is, girl, why are you trying to put them cheering off on her? She is trying to send not only race but the baby. Honey, I don't think River would make it through TSA without screaming the high heaven for his mama because we know that he is spoiled riding. But yes, child, she is trying to put the boys off on Brett's mama now and getting her to say things and just praise her. You know how narcissistic people do. They seek validation. And to me, that's what this is all about. She wanted to play the damsel in distress. Has anybody else noticed? I just thought about something. Has anybody else noticed that Rose complains everywhere she goes? every restaurant i cannot think of a time that she didn't have an issue with the drink the receipt the waitress the food every time this vlog that they did last night at the pizza place in the first two minutes she was already complaining about her entree girl can't you read what do you mean you thought you ordered pasta girl honey did y'all see brett when he broke free from them chains down at the police department and he had that bag with the stick on it all I could think about was Paul Bunyan, child. I hollered. I said, look at Brett walking around looking like a lumberjack man. But anyway, y'all drop in the comments and let me know what you all think of all this. Was this all a skit? Was this real? What do you all think the end game is here? 